An Alabama pipeline fire is burning for a second day after a deadly explosion. One person was killed yesterday when a work crew hit the gas line with a piece of equipment. And as Mark Straussman reports, the explosion is not far from a leak in September on the same line, which caused gas shortages across the south. Gas ball, possibly a structure fire. We have a caller reporting a gas bond is involved. Massive flames and clouds of thick black smoke rose over central Alabama following a deadly explosion at the Colonial Gas Line Pipeline. A friend of mine called me and said that he's seen a big smoke cloud. Now that we're here, I just wanted to check on my property and make sure that it wasn't on fire. We're reading reports of multiple people injured, multiple patients. One person died at the scene. Five others were rushed to the hospital. The flames sparked wildfires that have already burned more than 30 acres and forced people nearby to evacuate. When you're dealing with fire, you just don't know how fast it'll, it'll move, and we're trying to get this under control. Colonial Pipeline provides gasoline for more than 50 million people in areas stretching from the Gulf Coast to New England. It supplies the East Coast with 40% of its fuel. This could very quickly become a major outage that could be lasting several weeks instead of several days, and it, it could be uh, much worse than what we saw in September. In September, 250,000 gallons of gasoline leaked from the same pipeline and led to a shortage and a spike in gas prices across the south. Prepare for some price increases because gasoline is not flowing to these areas. Colonial Pipeline has shut down both its major lines, which supply 100 million gallons of fuel a day from refiners to the marketplace. No word of when those fuel lines will be back open for business. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Shelby County, Alabama.